Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to, well, I don't know the exact location of this post office, but we are uh, unfortunately going to have to listen to the most annoying voice of any frauditor that you ever heard in your life. His voice is much worse than nails on a chalkboard, I'll tell you that right now. So uh, your ears will be uncomfortable for a while, but it'll be well worth it in the end, considering that uh, this uh, sorry SOB known as uh, Voodoo Audits or something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, News Now Voodoo. Yeah, News Now Voodoo. Uh, he gets tased and taken away in the end. So uh, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey, guys. I'm here in front of the post office. I'm getting ready to do a First Amendment audit with this post office here, see if they violate my right to be a douchebag in public. Oh my goodness, already I don't like this frauditor. He seems to be a combination already of uh, Chile de Castro, uh, Glenn Serio, and uh, Long Island Audits. As if somebody got together and created this thing out of uh, material from all three of them. Or even more frauditors. I don't know. He may be a combination of much more than those three. Alright, so here I am in front of the boxes. I have lots of boxes here, of course, because it is a post office, so they're going to have a lot. Um, so that makes sense. But around this corner, we have um, more boxes. Okay. All right. Plenty of boxes. That's good. That's good. Keep the customers happy. But around this next corner, I know there's going to be some tyrants trying to violate my rights. That's right. Watch this. Right around the corner, we got um, no tyrants, just more boxes. That's right, there's, there's another section, there's another section, and I'm sure as soon as I get there, they're gonna see I'm recording, and they're gonna slam me to the ground and tase me, and violate my rights, and be tyrannical beast. Here we go, it's more, um, boxes. Um, oh. okay, all right, okay, all right, so they got post office boxes in the post office, of course they do. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! I do apologize to everybody because I've had to censor a lot of his swear words and there's just a lot more to come. And I swear this guy is not that bright anyway because, you know, he must have stuffing in his head or something other than gray matter. I mean, who knows? Because, you know, who audits an empty post office? All right, so let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, I know around this next corner we're going to find tyrants. They're everywhere. You can't get away from the tyrants, sir. Um. More, more boxes. Um, okay. Um, well, I'm sure I'll find some tyrants. Uh, let, here, you know what? Here, uh, let's, let's, let's try and find poster seven. Here we, wait a minute. No outgoing mail! How dare they sign up here? No outgoing mail. I knew the tyranny was on display. Those horrible, rotten, no good tyrants. No outgoing mail. That's, uh, that's not. Aww, they can't enforce that. I can put whatever I want in that box. I swear, you frauditors are all the same. You want signs to explain everything to you, but yet when we do put a sign up where it's supposed to be at, you say it's unconstitutional or you don't want to do it because it violates your rights. Make up your damn minds. Jeez. What is this here now? Look at this crap. A camera. Filming me. Right next to a sign. Like they think that people are gonna want a job. Be my servant! Get a job being my servant, you! Public servant, that's right. I have a press pass, so you know I'm a legitimate journalist. Dang, damn it! Alright, let's go in there and find out what else is going on. Uh, violating my rights. At least finally I found poster 7. Here it is, guys! Poster 7, here it is. I finally found poster 7. So you see, there's all the writing and the words and stuff on there. And poster 7, uh, you know. And now I'm gonna show you that they put it up. They tried to f*** it from me. Dude, get your eyes checked. I think they're made of plastic or something. Because they didn't hide it from you, obviously. It's sitting right there out the open where everybody can see it. And I can guarantee you that it doesn't say what it says you think it says. 
or you're going to hide from your audience what it actually says so they believe you instead of everybody else, which is how you frauditors typically operate. You only give half-truths and uh, quote mining. Those scumbag tyrants, but I know better than to fall for them. They're supposed to be my servants, but um, they put tape on it. They taped it up on a piece of chalk cardboard. Anyway, Poster 7, ladies and gentlemen. The greatest poster in the world, Poster 7. Uh, it gives anyone who owns a camera the right to do whatever they want, whenever they want, with no consequences! Uh, no consequences, okay. Yeah, I think we're gonna see the consequences here in the next few minutes. So, be warned, it is quite graphic. Because this guy's gonna definitely get the stuffing tased out of him. That's the great thing about Poster 7, it's like magic. Here, watch. I'm gonna, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna film Poster 7 for you, and I'm gonna show you guys. Now watch this. Okay, now look how I do this, see? I'm gonna put my camera, right, I'm gonna put my camera right here, see, right in the photographs for news purposes section, and I'm gonna show you the part that you need to read. See, I'm gonna film it, watch. I'm gonna put my camera right here, and see all the words beneath my camera? They'll, those don't matter, that's just tyrannical gobbledygook to try and violate your rights. But um, the reality is that this part that's showing is all you need to read. All the rest of the writing on here is just some uh, tyrannical uh, lawyer top splitting gobbledygook. Oh, so you're a YouTube lawyer now as well, so you feel it's not in your duties to explain the finer points of the filming clause in Poster 7. I get you. Like I said, he just wants to hide it from his audience. Typical frauditor. Anyway, here's the section where they sell stuff. Um, these signs, they don't have any CRF codes on these signs either. Uh, so I don't know what they're trying to pull. These guys are tyrants trying to steal our money and look. Look, 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 look. They got a camera, huh? Huh? How come they can have a camera? What is the, the post office cam backing now? Budget cam backing Karen post office people? If they can film, I can film. There you go. So now watch this. I'm going to get some service. I'm going to get a public servant to serve me and do what I say because I said it. All right, public servant, come to me now. Public servant, where are you? Wait, where, where, where's the public servant? Why, why is there nobody here? I don't understand. I know what's going on. They are refusing me service. They saw me filming and they decided to be retirements and to refuse service to me. There's no other reason why there wouldn't be someone here right now. Could you even begin to imagine any reason why someone might not be at this desk other than to violate my rights, me specifically because I'm holding a camera? How dare they? I'm going to sue the, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Motor Vehicles. I'm going to sue the city. Uh, the, 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 you know, I'm going to get Chili to write me a lawsuit. All right, so I'm outside now and... Oh, please, dude. Drop the damn persecution complex. You're nothing special. I mean, who knows the reason why there was nobody at that desk at the time. It may have been a holiday. It may have been the weekend. Who knows? Because you're sure as hell not going to tell us when you filmed this, so we don't know anything beyond that. Just a chill accident. It was a big fail. Horrible fail. Terrible post office. They were evil. Rotten, no good tyrants in there, all of them. Every single one of them was terrible. They failed miserably. This is just unacceptable behavior. Hiding from me, refusing me service. I, I don't know why no one showed up to help me. I have a camera, they should do what I want. Just because I have one. Uh, 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 they fail miserable. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Well, I'm sorry you have to see this, folks, but uh, apparently this frauditor pissed somebody off, and now they're about to get what's coming to them. They're about to get the stuffing tased out of them. So, uh, just be careful, okay? It's rather graphic. What are you doing? What? Hey, what are you doing here? And why are you looking at my leg? And hey, look, man, I know I'm under house arrest, but I, I, I just snuck out just to do a quick little audit. I... It, no, Hezekiah, no, please. I, I know I should have stayed in the house. I'm under house arrest. I get it, but no, please. Please, don't tase me, bro. Don't tase me, Hezekiah. No, no, don't do it. No. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, okay, now we're driving back home. Ow, ow, okay, 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 I won't sneak out again. Ow, 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 okay, I get it, I get it. I'm supposed to be under house arrest. Ow, I'm supposed to be under house arrest. I know, I know. Um, you're taking me home. We're in the car. There's nothing we can do about it now anyway. Oh, oh, come on, Harris. Give me a break, dude. I, I, I'm sorry. I'll never sneak out again, I promise. And that's where the video ends, folks. I, and, uh, from what I understand, uh, he was already on probation and house arrest for a lot of other uh, various crimes, and he's still awaiting trial for uh, several others. So I understand that he's also facing about 15 years for uh, various other uh, incidents that have occurred over the past few years. I'm not exactly privy to that right now, but whenever I get his case file, I'll let you know. But you know how these frauditors are. They have a laundry list of crimes on their rap sheets, so uh, it's just another day in the office for them. At any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Hezekiah's channel, and his link will be in the description box below. Be sure to thank him for the video he put out that made this possible.